Welcome to Next Level Tech. In today's video, we looked at how bullets are manufactured. Please subscribe to my channel to avoid missing future videos. Let's go there. There are many types of bullet manufacturers ranging from large companies and governments to smaller custom ammunition manufacturers to individuals who load and reload ammunition with a few simple tools. There are also many different bullet designs and a lack of consensus about which is most effective. The two most common bullet forming methods are casting and swaging. Casting a bullet colon casting is pouring molten metal into a mold. This mold is hinged and when closed has a hollow space that is the shape of the bullet. The metal is melted in a crucible, a metal or ceramic pot that can hold molten metal safely and then poured into the mold. After the metal has cooled, the mold is opened and the bullet falls or is knocked out. And if any imperfections are removed by cutting or filing. If the bullet is extremely deformed, it can be melted down and the process repeated. To cast a bullet with multiple sections of different materials, the first material is poured into the mold to partially fill it. After this material has cooled and partially or completely solidified, a second molten material is poured into the mold to fill it partially or completely. Swaging a bullet. Swaging is a cold forming process, which means that it involves shaping metal without heating to soften or melt it. The appropriate amount of material to be swaged, measured in grains, is placed in a die. A die is a harder metal container with a cavity and empty space shaped like the bullet without the back end. The die is part of a larger stationary object or is held in place on a platform. A metal punch that fits into the open end of the die is forced into the die to the appropriate depth. As the punch forces the bullet metal into the duct cavity, the material takes the shape of the cavity. The pressure can come from a manual or hydraulic press, from repeated hammer blows, or from a threaded punch that is screwed on. Excess metal is squeezed out of bleed holes. The punch is removed from the die and the bullet is pushed or pulled out of the cavity. Any imperfections are removed by cutting or filing. Multiple swaging steps can be used to insert partitions to create a bullet out of multiple materials and to further define the shape of the bullet. A coin-shaped piece of jacket metal is punched out of a strip or a sheet. The punch is usually a round metal cylinder that is pushed through the jacket material into a depression in a table. Some punches are rounded so that the piece of metal is shaped like a cup. Sometimes tubing is used instead of a coin or a cup of metal. If the jacket material is too hard to be formed easily, it can be annealed. Annealing is heating the metal, often with a gas flame to soften it and make it more workable. The jacket material is then placed in a die or over a punch, and the punch is forced into the die. There may be several different punches and dies used to form specific features in the jacket. 